Hi, I'd like to tell you about a new augmented reality game called Frankorstein. Using your phone, you wander around your neighborhood and are randomly attacked by hordes of monsters. You can play this one of two ways. Either you prefer weapons to blast monsters into oblivion. You're a Frank. Or you're a bit of a mad scientist. Scavenge the dead monsters lying around for pieces and parts. Combined, create new monsters which you send out into the world to kill other players. Then you're a Steen. Either way, if you're successful, you earn enough points to upgrade your weapons and your character. So which one are you? Frank or Steen? Alright guys, what you saw there is Jimmy Zelinsky's new promo for a game that he's trying to do. Um, it is called, we'll scroll up to the top of this page here, it's called Frunk or Steen. It's a mobile augmented reality horde survival game. So basically this website right here is kickstarter.com. Uh, it's a survival adventure in your own neighborhood. It's going to be like basically like Pokemon Go Zombies. So you can either be a hunter or a mad scientist. Either you hunt down the zombies or you try to uh, build them up. You can kill them or create the creatures so you can help level up your character. So uh, what they're trying to do on this page is raise $300,115. That's a nice little Easter egg that they're doing there, 115. That is a tribute to the Treyarch zombies that Jimmy Zizlinski used to work on. But now he's trying to do his own thing, and this is one of the games that he's trying to do. So this is pretty cool. I wonder what other things that he's been trying to do. But this is just one of them that uh, I have found. Uh, props to Glitching Queen. I saw this on her channel first, and I definitely want to cover it on mine. I definitely like uh, Jimmy Zelinsky. He's made good zombies. I'm definitely interested in anything else that he makes up. So let's read a uh, part of this description of the game here. So... Uh, the risks and challenges to create an immersive experience, it'll be imperative that the world is grounded. Literally grounding the zombies will be a challenge. Getting them to obey the world around you, avoiding obstacles remaining on the ground, playing with as little floaty behavior as possible. Fighting the gyroscope with the phone is a technical hurdle. We've already begun to explore and have come up with directions for solutions. Uh, he also goes on to say, further making sure that zombies falling crates flying body parts, explosion effects, all behave as if they're affected by gravity so that the player does not feel like they're playing a game in their phone but more like they're looking through their phone into a real fantasy world. So that definitely goes back to the Pokemon Go concept where you go throughout your neighborhood, you're looking for different characters or you're looking for different loot drop, kate, drop crates to level up your uh, XP. So it sounds like that uh, these little drop crates are going to have either like zombie body parts, XP for your characters, or maybe different weapons and ammo if you're hunting them. So that sounds pretty cool. Um, I'm excited to see what this game has in for store for us. Uh, looking forward to what else that they're going to have for us. So, all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification button so you guys never miss any uploads. All right, guys, until next video. I'll see you guys later.